Hi, and welcome back to the Food Fund, where we explore all things related to investing in food and beverage stocks. If you are new here, our goal is to help you put your money where your mouth is and invest in great companies. If you love food and love stocks, you will definitely love this channel. In this video we will be doing an analysis of Darden restaurants and seeing if it would be a great addition to the food fund. Be sure to watch through the end of the video where I share my final thoughts on that. Now, let's go ahead and jump right in. Cue the logo. Let's start with some background info on Darden restaurants. Darden is based in Orlando, Florida and is a restaurant operator of many popular brands. This include Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, Eddie V's, The Capitol Grill, Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, and many more. Today Darden Restaurants employs over 175,000 people. Now, let's look at the price action. Starting with the one year chart we see that Darden had a cager of about 12%. Zooming out to the 5 year chart we see that Darden had a cager of 5%. Darden price action has been steadily climbing over time but not showing outstanding returns. Now, let's take a look at the fundamentals. Gross margin is 20%. This is pretty good for large restaurant company. Revenue has compounded at around 6% over the past 5 years and has reached nearly $10.8 billion most recently. Good revenue growth and good gross margins make for a sound company. Looking at cash flow we see a 2% cager over the last 5 years for operating cash flow, while CapEx has grown at a cager of 7%. As a result free cash flow has slowly declined over time. CapEx spend is really hurting the company at a time of slow growth. Weighted average shares outstanding have slightly decreased over the last 5 years. Going from 125 million shares in 2019 to 122 million shares most recently, Darden has been slowly buying back shares. It seems that this trend will continue but I do not expect the pace to change. Now let's view return on invested capital. Return on invested capital has fallen from 14.3% in 2019 to 9.6% in 2023. Though the return on invested capital is decently high, the decrease over time points towards worsening efficiency. Another favorite metric is cash conversion cycle, a measure of operational efficiency regarding supplier and payer leverage as well as inventory control. Going from minus 4 days in 2019 to minus 4 days most recently, Darden has maintained good efficiency managing inventory. Additionally, the negative cash conversion cycle indicates that the company still maintains a good degree of operating leverage. Last, let's explore Darden's debt. The net debt to EBITDA has risen from 0.6 in 2019 to 3.4 most recently. This is a bad sign which means that the company's debt load is increasing relative to EBITDA. The fundamentals of Darden are not great but it may still be a buy for some investors. In any event, should it be added to the portfolio? Before sharing my final thoughts on that, please click the like button and let YouTube know that you like the content. Subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you catch the latest videos. Your continued support means so much to the food fund. Now, let's get into my final thoughts. Okay, let's go to the spreadsheet and write out some key values for Darden. It is a restaurant company with a gross margin of 20%. The 5 year revenue per share cager is 6% and the 5 year free cash flow per share cager is 0%. Decent margins but subpar growth. Let's continue. A return on invested capital of 10% is ok but the value has been falling over time. Next, the cash conversion cycle of minus 4 days is good and is one of the only areas of strength for this company. Concerning debt, a net debt to EBITDA of 4.6 means that it takes Darden a little over 4 and a half years of earnings to pay off their debt. So from a fundamental standpoint, Darden leaves much to be desired. Now let's switch our attention over to valuation. Darden is undervalued relative to the S&P 500 with a ratio of 0.7. The price to earnings growth, or PEG ratio, is 1.9 which means that Darden is a little overvalued compared to its projected earnings growth. Darden has had good share price appreciation this year however the share price is pretty flat over the longer term. With decelerating revenue growth and free cash flow stagnation, 
the company does not seem that attractive. Additionally, given the Fed's declaration of higher rates for longer, I remain skeptical of the consumer's ability and desire to continue to spend to eat out. For this reason I will pass on Darden restaurants for now but do plan to revisit the company in the future. Many thanks for watching. What do you think about Darden and its lack of free cash flow growth? Please share your thoughts below. It is always great to hear from you. Please check out some more videos right now and don't forget to put your money where your mouth is.